Checking and adjusting the gap on piston rings is an essential part of preparation that needs to happen before installing the pistons and the cylinders. Everything has tolerances, so there will always be a slight difference in casting, machining, and fitment. Checking the piston ring gap ensures that your piston rings are within the specification listed in your service manual for what your engine needs to properly build compression and keep oil out of the combustion chamber. Before checking the gap, we want to quickly note that these motorcycles originally came with a thick, single-piece oil ring that has a standard gap value in the Honda service manual. Our new piston rings come with a modern three-piece oil ring that does not have a standard gap value and does not need to be checked. To check the piston ring gap, first insert the piston ring into the cylinder. It's important when checking the gap that the piston ring is level in the cylinder and sitting somewhere in the middle, not too close to the top or the bottom. Use the piston to press down the piston ring after it's inserted into the cylinder. Using the machined lines in the piston skirt as a guide allows you to ensure that you're checking all of the piston ring gaps at the same depth and that they are sitting completely level in the cylinders. Since the grooves on the piston are completely level and perpendicular, you can use them as a reference against the top edge of the cylinder. Once the piston ring is in the cylinder and level, use your feeler gauges to measure the gap and compare that to the standard gap range that's found in your Honda service manual. You want your gap to be well within the service limits and no tighter than the minimum standard value. If you find that your piston ring gap is too small, it needs to be filed to fall within the standard value. Machine shops have dedicated tools for filing piston ring gaps, but you can actually do this easily at home with a vise and a flat file. Clamp the file into the vise so that it's pointing straight at you. Lightly press both sides of the piston ring against it as you push it across the file. This will keep the edges parallel and remove material evenly. Make only one or two strokes before rechecking the gap in the cylinder. Usually a few strokes is all you need to get most piston rings into the correct value. Once everything's in the correct value, you're ready to install them.